Hi there. Now for this identity, we've got to prove that 1 minus cosine theta, all divided by sine of theta, is identical to 1 divided by cosec theta plus cot theta. So as usual, if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution, or you might want to fast forward. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now this is a good one to try. We'll just put proof here. It's a good one to try because it's got a lot of ideas in it. First of all, which side do we take? Well, I'm going to go with the right hand side because I notice that we've got cosines and sines here. And generally, I feel it's going to be easier to convert the cosec theta and the cot theta back down to sines and cosines. So let's start with the right hand side for this one then, which is generally quite unusual in most identities, but uh, there we go. Okay, so we've got 1 divided by cosec theta plus cot of theta. And what is this identical to? Well, I did say that we want to head towards sines and cosines. So let's just change these two functions in the denominator here in terms of sines and cosines. So what we've got then is on the top one, and it's divided by, and in the denominator, cosec theta is the same as 1 divided by sine theta. And then we've got plus cot theta, which is the same as cosine theta divided by sine theta. So what we've got here now is what I often call a stacked fraction. We've got uh, a fraction here that doesn't take up just say two levels. It takes up one, two, three levels. So to clean something like this up, what I've got to do is multiply top and bottom of the fraction by something that's going to get rid of the sine theta here and the sine theta here. So what that is, is sine theta divided by sine theta. Remember, this is the same as multiplying by 1. So it's not going to change the value of this fraction, but just the appearance of it. So if we multiply the top, the 1 in other words, by the sine theta here, that's just going to give me sine theta. And then if we multiply the two terms in the denominator here with this sine theta here, then 1 over sine theta times this sine theta is just going to give me 1. And then when it comes to this term here, multiply cos theta over sine theta with the sine theta. The sine thetas will cancel and just leave me with cosine theta. Okay, so this is quite common to get in identities where you multiply top and bottom of the fraction by some value. And when I look at the top here, 1 minus cosine theta, that's what we've got to get then I'm going to force 1 minus cosine theta into the top here. Sometimes you have to do things like this. So I'm going to put 1 minus cosine theta there so that I know that I'll get it on the top. But obviously if I've multiplied the top here by 1 minus cosine theta, then I must multiply the bottom by 1 minus cosine theta so that we're multiplying top and bottom by the same value, in other words, by 1. So let's see what we get this time. Well, I'm not going to expand the bracket here. I'm just going to write sine theta multiplied by 1 minus cosine theta. But when we look at the denominator here, what I've got here is essentially the difference of two squares. 1 plus cos theta times 1 minus cos theta. If I was to put this in brackets, 
Then expanding this gives me 1 times 1, which is 1. And then we've got 1 times minus cosine theta, which is minus cosine theta. And then plus cosine theta times the 1 here is plus cosine theta. They're going to cancel. And then we're just left with cosine theta times minus cosine theta, which is minus cosine squared theta. OK, the difference of two squares. Now we should be familiar with this identity, 1 minus cosine squared theta. Remember that we've got sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is identical to 1. OK, you should be familiar with that one. And if I was to subtract cosine squared theta from both sides of this identity, we'd have sine squared theta is identical to 1 minus cosine squared theta. So there we go, 1 minus cosine squared theta we can replace with sine squared theta. So we have on the top here sine theta times 1 minus cosine theta. On the bottom here we now have sine squared theta. And so we can cancel a common factor, sine theta here with one of the sines in here. And that leaves us now with the result that we want, which is 1 minus cosine theta, all divided by sine theta. So quite a nice question here, showing off this idea where we multiply top and bottom of a fraction by the same value. And also, another look at the difference of two squares, 1 plus cos theta times 1 minus cos theta. Quite common in these kind of examples, as I've pointed out before. OK, so uh, there we go. Hope you're able to get that one. If not, that you've been able to see how to do it.